Most people are familiar with Magpul's PMAG line or our AR-15 furniture and accessories, but you may not be familiar with one of our older product lines, the SGA line. Um, the SGA line came out in the late 2000s and it was Magpul's shotgun furniture line. Um, very important uh, line of shotgun furniture for us because it led into our hunter line of hunting stocks and then the SGA line is still very, very popular with hunters and law enforcement today um, after over a decade of being available on the market. So the SGA line supports two products, the Mossberg 500-590 family and the Remington 870 and 12 gauge. Um, from what I understand, there are some 20 gauge Remingtons built on 12 gauge receivers. If you're lucky enough to find one of those old guns, uh, from what I understand, it'll work with that furniture too. Um, but at its core, we've got a handguard, we've got a buttstock, and then we've got a forward clamp sling mount. Handguard, pretty straightforward. This is the SGA handguard. This one happens to be for a 590, but the 870 one, the exterior dimensions are all exactly the same. And uh, what we've got is a handguard made of our high impact glass filled nylon that gives you an ergonomic advantage over most factory handguards and the ability to mount attachments to it that you may find useful for your shotgun. It's also got a forward and rear hand stop for your hand to butt up to when you're running the pump. Three M lock slots on each side, five M lock slots on the bottom, ribs for traction. And they're really easy to install. Uh, you spin the old retaining nut off of your OEM handguard or whatever handguard you've got on it. Slide the handguard over the existing slide. Thread the nut back on and tighten it down with the included tool. Reassemble your shotgun and you're in business. Um, you can put foregrips, lights, lasers, uh, other hand stops, other uh, Rail covers for traction, Type 1 and Type 2 covers, anything you can mount to M-Lock that makes sense to go on a shotgun, you can mount on the SGA handguard. But the second major component is the SGA stock. So when you look at a standard shotgun stock, there's usually not a lot of features. You may be able to replace the butt pad and get a little more or less length of pull. Um, some have internal kick stops, there's even some internal mag storage, but your average OEM shotgun stock is fully defeatured. You got a place to put your hand, you got a plastic or rubber butt pad, and that's pretty much it. And given what we use these guns for, you can see this 590 is set up more of a tactical gun. It's a 590A1. Uh, while this 870 is set up as a turkey gun, a lot of the same features are desirable across both of them. When you look at the butt stock, that's where the bulk of the features in the SGA line are coming from. We've got a rib front strap to maintain control of the gun under recoil, textured side panels for the same reason. And then we optimize the angle of this to give you the most control under recoil, the most comfort when you're shooting high recoil loads that you can get. Moving back down the stock, you can see we've got a slot for our Type 1 sling cup, so you can put a QD insert in and run a QD sling attachment. There's also a footman's loop on both sides, so you don't actually need to purchase anything separate. If you just want to rig a sling to it, you're fine on the rear. On the front, we'll talk about that later, you may have some more options there too. You'll see a nut and screw right here. And what those do is allow you to pull this butt pad off and you can see the spacers right here and you can adjust the length of pull from around 12 and a half to 14 and a half inches. So if you're shooting a youth gun during hunting season, you can really shorten that up for smaller statured people. Um, if you're a larger guy or you prefer more of a length of pull, you can go up to 14 and a half inches. Then we've got a recoil reducing butt pad on it. It's really soft, absorbs a lot of recoil, and it's also contoured for the way people shoot shotguns. You can see it's got a slight bevel to it. It's easy to mount and it stays put on your shoulder. When you adjust that length of pull, one of the other options you've got is comb height. So if we're shooting a bead on a barrel versus an aim point, right, we got vastly different needs for comb height. You can pop this cheek riser off and we make them in 0 0.25, 0 0.50, and 0 0.75 increments. Uh, those are available separately in a pack. They're the low pack or high pack of SGA cheek risers. Same ones you'd use for the Hunter chassis. Right? And you can fine tune your comb height so you get an optimal head position for looking down your sights. Stock only weighs about a pound and a half and gives you a ton of features. Deadens recoil, it's extremely ergonomic and it's really easy to install. Uh, when you look at most OEM stocks, somewhere back in here there will be a, sometimes a nut, 
sometimes a screw, depending on the arrangement at the receiver. Uh, with the SGA line, all you have to do is peel this cover up with a short screw, install it with a hex wrench, and you're good to go. So multiple sling mounting options, uh, adjustable length of pull, a great butt pad, adjustable comb height, great traction and wrist position on the stock. Um, bolts right up to any 12 gauge 870 and most Mossberg 590s and 500 series guns. Same thing with the handguard. You've got a great control surface. You've got optimal texture. Um, it's ergonomics. So you can hold it in your hand without the shotgun flying out of it under heavy recoil. You've got hand stops to keep your hand on the pump. And it's really easy to install and it's a really cost effective way to improve your shotgun. Right, when we look at some other small parts in the SGA line, we have our forward sling mount, which is a cast steel magazine clamp. So if you've got an extended magazine tube that you need to support, this would replace the mag clamp that's on there. And you've got the option of a rotation limited QD, depending on the orientation, or a paraclip adapter. And if you decide you want to run a paraclip, keep this side on your sling side, flip it around, you'd have a QD. Multiple ways to mount your sling to the front of the gun and also a really good way to support your magazine tube. All right, and the last small part in the SGA line is the rear paraclip adapter. So there's a filler plate on the SGA stock when you buy it. You pull that plate out and you put this steel adapter in and you can run a paraclip either as a single point sling or run into another sling mount on the front for a two point. I'm going to have a great way to mount a sling on your shotgun uh, without any additional hardware, any Clue G adapters. It's built right into the stock in a really good position. All right, the SGA line is available in all the Magpul standard colors, black, FDE, OD green, uh, and with one exception, we do it in orange. This was a requirement from law enforcement for less lethal guns so they could identify shotguns that were used for certain purposes versus shotguns they had set aside. Um, the high visibility indicates that it's for a certain type of ammo originally. Also, hunters love it because it's also hunter orange. So in closing, the SGA line is a really cost-effective way to improve the performance of your shotgun. You're going to get better ergonomics, better recoil control, better ability to mount slings and accessories in a pretty affordable package. Um, if you have one of the two most popular shotguns in the world, Mossberg 500 590 family and the Remington 870 and 12 gauge, give the SGA line a look.